Many people want to take revenge. Whenever we watch a film or read a novel, we often feel the thrill and excitement the moment the protagonist of the story gets even with those who have hurt him or her. To my surprise, even a 90-year-old religious sister recommended to me the movie Taken. This is a story of a father who killed everyone who was involved in the kidnapping of his only daughter. I simply told the revered nun, Sister, I already watched this film twice a couple of years ago. My dear friends, undeniably, we easily agree when somebody says that revenge is sweet. But this is exactly the opposite of what Jesus is telling us today. In our gospel reading, Jesus remarks, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. Clearly, Jesus goes beyond the sense of justice practiced by the Jewish people during his time. He proposes a different kind of law that would establish a kingdom that is grounded in mercy and love, not in vengeance and hatred. And this is one of the reasons why Jesus met strong oppositions, especially from the people in authority. The Lex Talionis, or the Law of Retaliation, was a common practice in the ancient Mediterranean world. Offenders or criminals ought to be punished according to the injuries they had inflicted upon those they have victimized. Hurting someone who has hurt you was deemed to give a feeling of satisfaction. Now, if you think of our own experience, does it really give us a total satisfaction when we take revenge? My dear brothers and sisters, choosing the way of forgiveness is never easy. It can be a painful process, but it is also liberating. When we choose to be forgiving rather than being vindictive, we do not undermine justice. Jesus neither ignored justice, nor did he promote self-infliction. Jesus chooses mercy as a way of perfection. And opting for mercy is not a mere cliche in the life of Jesus. All throughout his public ministry, and especially on the cross, Jesus revealed his principle of non-resistance even in the face of violence. He chose mercy rather than vengeance. Before he died on the cross, amidst the provocation and temptation to retaliate, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. St. Paul learned this by heart, as can be perceived in his letter to the Romans. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Do not take revenge. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Kinamdam kog usa ka higala nga mi share sa iyang kasinatian. Ningon siya nga adunay higayon nga grabe kay ang ilang financial crisis sa pamilya nga midangop sa usa ka pariente seeking help financial assistance instead of receiving help giinsulto pa hinoon siya iya ni gi bound sa iyang kasing-kasing na human siya sa pag-eskwela nakatrabaho sa abroad og aduna siya stable nga business the great reversal happened after several years Ang maong pariente nga miinsulto niya, ni dangup niya nangayog tabang tungod kay sila na naglisod, naputlag kuryente. At that very moment, na siya flashback sa tanang pangitabo, nga giinsulto siya, she would have wanted to take revenge or to get even by insulting that relative. But she was surprised. 
she ended up allowing the person to borrow money and she even gave them a sack of rice. Tears from her eyes, tears flowed from her eyes and she realized that she asked the Lord for that grace to be able to forgive. And the Lord did not only give her that capacity to forgive, but to also be charitable, to fill her heart with mercy. And that's what it means to be a Christian. And by the way, I remember one psychologist who gave us a talk, kaming mga pari, during a clergy recollection, mingon siya, the very first beneficiary of forgiveness is the one who forgives. As we continue to offer this Holy Mass, we ask our Lord for the grace that we may always be forgiving. Grant that we may experience the liberating effect of forgiveness. We also remember all the victims of violence and retaliation, all victims of extrajudicial killing and their families. We ask for God's enlightenment that we may always allow justice to take its course and that we may learn to choose the path of Jesus, the path of mercy and charity. Amen.